today's Cam Instructor Mastercam video, we're going to have a look at the stock recognition setting inside the lathe environment. Okay, I just wanted to go through this part here rather quickly uh, and cover one setting uh, that I, I think is a fairly useful setting to use in the lathe environment in Mastercam. Before I get to that, I just want to review the toolpath that's here so far. So first off is lathe face. Basically pretty straightforward. Tool comes in and obviously faces the part. Uh, so the method shown for this chaining is to just simply not really chain anything. It's just inside the operation you select use stock and you tell it where uh, basically Z0 is here by giving it a Z location. Uh, what then it that will do then is it goes into the stock setup to find out how far in X it needs to start this face pass from and where to continue it to. So, so in this facing operation, we are in fact using the stock information about um, our setup. However, if we go down into operation number two, and let's just look at the parameters here real quick here first. Uh, so roughing, maximum depth of cut is set at 0 0.1, and we're set to equal steps. Uh, so basically, we, we might not get a depth of cut that's exactly 0.1, but we won't get a depth of cut any more than this, and all of our steps should be um, equal amounts of cuts. Okay, so if I go into this back plot here, start stepping through, you can see the X location I'm currently at, 1.195. Feeds up until it meets the, the shoulder here, and then kind of profiles around that, and continues on down the rest of the part. Uh, so next cut, 1.995, or sorry, 0 0.995. So it has uh, done that 100 thou depth of cut, so it works out to 200 thou diameter. But uh, the first cut, going back to the first cut, if we're at, call it 1.2, going back to our stock setup, we have a diameter input at inch and a half. Uh, that gives us more of a depth cut than what we've told the operation to do. So um, if there's a specific reason why we want to set our maximum cut at 100 thou and have that maintained throughout the operation, we're not accomplishing that on our very first cut. Reason for that is that this lay the rough is not set to recognize any sort of uh, stock. What it's doing right now is it's just seeing the uh, outermost portion in X of the, the part itself and using that is basically the boundary that the toolpath needs to uh, sit inside of. Uh, but it knows that since it is chained, it has to apply the roughing toolpath to this piece of geometry. So if I even updated this stock here to something drastic, uh, let's say instead of inch and a half, we had a piece of uh, three inch. Uh, this will take a second here to update it. Uh, for some reason, this is not working great today. Okay, so I'll rebuild all my operations. You can see right from the back plot here, the simulation, we got an issue right there. So there's my stock in gray. Obviously my truck hasn't updated, but that's not really a, a big deal right now. But there's my stock in gray. My facing tool path is still starting uh, where it should be for this piece of stock. It's starting up above the stock and cutting all the way across it. But the roughing operation is still uh, cutting at that same first X location of X 1.8. Uh, roughly 1.2. So with a piece of 3-inch stock, this is a huge deal. We're going to be cutting uh, you know, 2 inches off here in diameter, which is not going to go so well. So inside of the roughing operation, there is the option for stock recognition. So I would uh, typically advise having this turned on. Uh, so we can go to remaining stock, um, use stock for outer boundary, but typically this remaining stock is the most useful. Uh, we do have adjustment options here if you needed to adjust uh, to, to manipulate the tool path. In order to get the path you're after, you can kind of uh, uh, adjust the start, end, and pick a direction, uh, etc. But we don't need to worry about that right now. Just do a recalculation for the remaining stock. And notice our rough passes are starting up much higher now and actually cutting all the material away that it needs to. So if I go back in to set the stock to what it was before... We should now at least see that an additional roughing pass that happens above uh, 1.2, if this updates. Okay, so let's have a look at this rough pass now. 
X location now is uh, 1.32. So with a diameter of 1.5 to start, we're not exceeding that value in the operation of 0.1 uh, depth of cut. So keep in mind that depth of cut is a radial measurement, not diameter. So other than that, that's all I really want to touch on with this, was the use of stock recognition in lathe. It's very useful, especially for your roughing passes.